What's up everybody, it's Nasty Nate and today we're doing a video that has been requested over and over and over a portion of this channel that I've, I've yet to touch on and it's about the meal prep. What food do you eat? We see you eating the same thing every day. How do you cook it? What is it? You know, this, this and that. So today I'm going to take you guys in the grocery store and I'm going to beat up the misconception that meal prepping is expensive and that it takes too much time and I don't have time to the grocery store. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. So I'm going to take you guys in Fred Meyers right now because that's where I go. I go to a other natural grocery store to get a few other things, but we're going to start in Fred Meyers. I'm going to take you through. We're going to put a timer on because I'm going to show you exactly how long it takes me to get in and out of the grocery store with my routine. So let's get it. So um, I've got my list right here. I always make a list before I get in here um, just to see and make sure that I'm, I'm going to be buying different things every week, but just to make sure that I'm buying the stuff that I need for this week specifically or the stuff that I'm out of, I always make a list. So I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to show you guys how quick this actually is once you get in a routine of doing it. So. I'm doing a, I'm doing a, gro I'm doing a grocery list right now. Grocery list. Yeah. Of things to buy. Yeah, for like meal prepping. I'm here going with pasteurized eggs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? What do you get? Huh? What do you get? What am I? Well, we're just shopping. And oh, I know. What, what eggs do you get though? Um, cage free and pasteurized. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we get the same eggs. Right, but my daughter said get pasteurized over cage free there you go check it out for your youtube so you can pasteurize over cage free yes huh why is that i oh because they're in a they can roam free outdoors okay. and cage free is they're not in the cage but they're still all clumped together okay okay so we're gonna they're do... not in the cage and they're but they can roam around, but they still can't move. Got what? But We're doing pasteurized is they can roam free. And gotcha. Okay. Room, but okay. I don't know if that makes a difference. So now I'm going to change what eggs I'm getting because of the, what was your name? Marie. Marie. Because of Marie, I'm going to change the eggs that I'm getting right now. <laughs> Nasty Nate. Yep. Nasty Nate. So now we're going to go pasteurized. We're going pasteurized? Correct. Okay. That's what she said. So, but what's the difference here? I don't know. Oh, that. so, oh, that's grade A. Okay. That's, that's grade A too. Or maybe it's just the package. Because they both say large. Oh, organic. Right here. Right here. That's what I get. So, I'm going to get organic. That's $7.99. These are $4.99. Oh, let's go. Let's well, go. Let's go. I don't care. Let's go. Let's get these. You want to be economical. Nasty oh, yeah. Nate. Nasty Nate. Look okay, me I'll up look on. It up. Thank I'll you. Look it you up. Have a good day. Okay, thanks, Nasty Nate. <laughs> 
that was great that was very interesting I got put on game right there um, so <laughs> tell you too many of y'all are buying peanut butter that's got so much junk in it um, the only kind of peanut butter you should be buying if you're buying peanut butter the only reason I'm even buying peanut butter I don't usually eat it is I'm um, trying to add a little bit of fat to my diet and put on some size so you should be eating peanut butter where the only ingredient is peanuts and possibly salt and and that's literally it groceries in the car with setting up the camera with the little delay with the with the lady which was great because she put me on a little game um, I just finished at 17 minutes 53 seconds so in under 20 minutes with setting up the camera with recording with filming with people asking me a million questions about why I have a camera because nobody ever sees one apparently and with checking out groceries in the car loaded up under 20 minutes so if you're trying to tell me that you don't have under 20 minutes or 20 minutes to go to the grocery store to better your health and to save you money which i'm about to go over when i get home and i get everything unloaded you tripping all right guys i'm back home i got everything unpacked as you can see right here i'm going to kind of go over everything that i got i got two of these uh packs of eggs that this lady put me on two egg whites I've got one two three six seven eight packs of chicken I'm eating around a little over a pack a day ground chicken a lot of people do ground turkey but ground turkey does not sit well with me so I do ground chicken in the morning with my eggs I've got my fruit here blueberries bananas strawberries frozen acai for my bowls this is pea vegan protein milk I'm not vegan, I obviously eat meat, but I cannot do any kind of protein. It does not sit well with me in any way. So I get this as just a little extra. It's got 10 grams of protein per serving with my food after my workout. I do this organic frozen rice. Uh, I got coconut aminos, it's a soy alternative. There is one gram of sugar, uh, five calories per serving, one gram of carbs, this thing is like bare and all this in it is coconut, tree sap, and sea salt. So I love this stuff right here, it tastes great. I've got broccoli for the week. Like I said, I've got my peanut butter that is just literally ground peanuts. Yeah, it's not sweet and it's not amazing, but a lot of misconceptions with certain foods like peanut butter, oh, it's bad for you, it makes you fat. Ketchup, this ketchup usually high in sodium. This ketchup is no salt added, so I take some of the things that I love and I you know I try to find alternatives for them you know and so guys this diet is not a 30 day get shredded meal plan I personally believe that diet should be about your fitness needs and also your health needs I have so many food allergies my stomach is so sensitive that this food makes me feel good I could probably eat more red meat I could probably you know eat more vegetables but the way that my stomach processes foods 
these are the things right here that are the best for me. So it doesn't mean that this food is going to make you shredded. It doesn't mean that this food is going to make you look good. It doesn't mean that this food is even going to make you feel healthy at all. But this is what works for me. I know that a lot of these things are are hitting on you know a lot of lists for you know how to get in good shape and, and how to feel better and how to you know have an overall healthy lifestyle so that's why a lot of these are sitting right here but this is gonna change overall week to week based on what I run out of but generally the chicken the eggs the bananas the fruit the broccoli is always the same every single week the rice um, so for all this stuff right here today we spent a hundred and twelve dollars at Fred Meyer and twenty three dollars at the natural grocery store I had the rice left over from last week so I didn't buy any of that today but they are around like two something 250 a pack or something like that so basically I will get probably three of those throughout the day so let's see we're at a hundred and twelve plus 23 53 but I got a chapstick so we're gonna take two bucks off of that so a hundred and thirty three dollars plus your uh, let's see I usually buy two of those or so a week so plus another let's just say eight dollars just for the for the fun of it a hundred and forty one dollars for this week for food okay so I know a lot of people are gonna say that hundred and forty one dollars for the grocery store is really expensive, but check this out. How many of you spend $10 a day, right, on lunch? So if you do, and that, and I know it's more than that. I know it's, I know it's higher than 12, 10, so we're gonna do 12. So if you spend $12 a day on lunch, and you say you work five days a week, right? So 12 times five, you're already at $60 for just lunch. And then I found a 2019 study that says that people spend an average $50 a week on dinner food. So that's plus 50. You're at $110 a week for food that's only going to feed you twice a day if you're lucky. And that was an average. So that's not going out to dinner every night. So let's just say you only do, you do lunch, right? So you're at $60 right there. And say you do dinner, dinner is around, you know, $20. And say you do dinner uh, twice, so you're gonna be at 40. So you're gonna be at $100 a week for eating out. And that's gonna get you seven meals. What about breakfast, okay? If you're buying breakfast, what about, what about if you're buying dinner, breakfast? What if you're making breakfast and then you're buying lunch and dinner every day? Like you're going to be spending so much more money. All this food right here is for every single meal that I eat in seven days, except for my cheat meal. So $140 is going to feed me breakfast in the morning, a snack, my acai bowl. I have a lunch. I eat another chicken meal and then another one after I work out. So I'm eating five times a day, seven days a week, for $141. Bruh. And you are trying to tell me that going to the grocery store is too time consuming. Going to the grocery store is too expensive. I can't afford it. But we're spending so much more money on food that one is not even good for you. And two, you're defeating the purpose of what this is. You think that this is more expensive, but and the $140 is spent right here. This is all organic food. This is everything on this table right here is all organic. You do not have to buy organic food. I guarantee if I go back and do another video and I don't buy anything organic, I guarantee that I can cut at least $30 off of here. So then you're going to be at, you know, 100 and 110 bucks for the whole week. Try going to the grocery store, try prepping your food, just give it a try and see how much more convenient it is. See how much more money you're going to save. It's totally worth it, guys. So this is going to be part one of the video. I'm going to do another one on how I prep my food. And then we're going to do another video of a whole day of eating with Nasty Nate. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.